Hey, this is Blake, and I'm get today. I'm going to be showing you how to edit Super Smash Bros. Brawl stages in Brawlbox. So we're going to be editing uh, Yoshi's Island just to show you how the all the tools work. Uh, Yoshi's Island is STGDX Yorster. So you can see uh, all these different parts of the stage. If you click on Arc 2 and preview all models, you will see a preview of the stage with all the collision boxes and everything. Notice this uh, this block here, is, there's just one. That's because its position is determined by uh, bones that are set up in the stage. Hand the camera with uh, shift and right click. Rotate with control and right click. So this has been one of my favorite stages, but no one ever likes to play on it. It's mostly because of they all everyone falls in this hole and gets salty about it. So we're just going to get rid of this hole. So I'm going to go back out, close the editor. Now we're back in bra in uh, Brawlbox. And you see all these different folders. We have uh, all these different model data. Here's the stage. Here's some clouds. Bullet Bill and Lactu. The little block guy. And we, here we have the collision data. And later I'll go and here you can edit it all. You can edit all the textures in the stage by replacing these if you wanted to. But right now, what we want to do for to get rid of the hole is to edit this model. So I'm going to right click on MDL zero, or I don't know if that's a zero or an O, honestly. It's, and preview. It's probably an O. So now I see pretty much what we saw before. So uh, on stop screen, you click on this. Now I see the top. I want to make sure vertices is turned on. That way I can actually edit all these little vertices. Yeah, that, you know, here's one. And change this to translation. See the select button, move, move it like that. Control Z. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this left part of the sta stage and I'm going to kind of stretch it out so, such that it will, well, without moving the pipe and without looking so ugly. Basically just move it over here. But I don't want to be selecting see I'm selecting all this other extra stuff I don't want to select. So in order to prevent that I have to go over here in this tab here to uh, under objects. I'm going to deselect all the ones that I don't want to accidentally move edit. Alright this should be enough. Actually, that, that is all of them. So now I'm going to zoom all the way out, select all the vertices on there. I'm going to go to scale, and now I can turn these things back on so I can see it. I'm just going to scale it out like that. Then I'm just going to scoot it over like that. And you see these, uh, this blue shape here is the, that's what your sh the play character's shadows reflect off of. So I'm going to edit that one. To just You just want to edit one shape, but if you're just editing one, you just select it in here, and then uh, just move it. I mean, then you can just select the the uh, vertices from that individual shape. This looks pretty good. Could try removing uh, this little patch of grass here. If you wanted to do that, you would find the polygons attached to, and then kind of just stuff it under the stage. But right now, this this looks fine. Oh, 
Nope, oh, there's a there's a hole over here. Well, I guess what I should have done is move this this background piece here with the when I scaled the rest of the stage, but I'll just leave it like that for the tutorial. So I'm gonna go back. Just you don't have to do anything here to save it, but make sure you save uh, save a lot because Brawlbox can crash. So I'm just going to save this to my desktop. And now there there's a, there's now we've all we've changed is the model. We you still we still have those little blocks stuck in the in there being the ground and you'll have the uh, the we haven't changed the collision boxes. So let's go to collision boxes are in collision data 2. I'm going to preview this. Up oh, up oh. Yep, Roblox has stopped working. Oh, so luckily I just saved. So, reopening Roblox. Yep, saved and changes. Gonna go to collision data and preview it. So now we see there's a. We click on this as he gets out. This is set to a right wall. And. So you can click on a piece of the collision and select what type of collision detection it is, a ceiling, floor, wall, left, right wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on these and press delete. Then I'm going to take these two points. Oh. Yeah, they're not close enough. And I'm going to try to merge these. Oh, merge. Then I need to uncheck left ledge on this side and uncheck right ledge on this side. And now we have no hole at all. Now if you wanted to add more collision boxes, what you would do is you would you hit alt and click and drag. And that, but by default, there's no collision on it. You'd have to change it to floor and now an invisible platform there, I guess. You can also change what material it is for the effects. You may get ice. I think that makes it slippery. But I think it's mainly just for sound effects and the dirt that when your character jumps. So the last thing we need to do is get these those three little blocks that start off under inside the ground we need to get rid of those to do that we're going to go to uh, reopen the preview all models and we need to edit a certain bone and every stage has a uh, model called stage position and on this side you can get adjust the bones uh, you have camp camera limit that shows how far the camera is allowed to go. This is the blast zone, the top, the left. There's the bottom blast and bottom and right blast zones. But what we want to edit is oh well, it's not it's not in this one. It's in the STG that block point. That's it. And it's here are each of the locations where blocks are. And we're going to change need to get take D, E, and F and just take the blocks and just put them out somewhere. Just out over here where no one will find them. And you can't actually see these points. They're they're just the lock won't appear there in Brawl Box. It'll only appear on in game. But now that I've moved those points, you won't have those little blocks in the ground. And now our stage is we have effectively removed well, we have successfully removed this the hole from Yoshi's Island. 
I can't really show you what it looks like in the game from my computer, but now I'm just going to show you a few other th other neat things you can do with the stage. One thing is you can edit what type, what, how frequently different items will drop at the stage. Like, have you ever, have you ever noticed how uh, Mr. Saturn is way more common in Onet? You can change the frequency of each oops, green shells if I wanted change this to uh, 30 and now green shells will be as common as this pokeballs anyway thank you for watching and this is Blake signing off